Jurassic Park was a huge part of my childhood. The summer of 1993 is one of those years that stands out in my memory as being one of the best times of my childhood. Fast forward 30 years in the future. We are now celebrating the 30th anniversary of this movie coming out in theaters in the United States. And now I live in Tokyo, Japan. So a couple years back, I started to see a bit of the vintage Jurassic Park uh, stuff that was produced in Japan start to pop up. And um, although I had a lot of the stuff that was released in the US, I thought it would be fun to, you know, try and collect as much as I could of the Japan only stuff or the stuff that was released in Japan with slightly different packaging stuff like that So I thought it would be fun to kind of just go through and show you guys some of the stuff that I've accumulated uh, over the past couple years and uh, Yeah, just kind of have a fun quick um, Showcase of some of my personal collection to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park So let's start here with a traditional Kenner Jurassic Park 1993 American release of the Dilophosaurus. So you can see here on the front, uh, you've got the awesome sunset background with the, uh, the foliage in shadow. I love this packaging. One thing that I kind of misremember is that these actually don't have the Kenner logo in the bottom left or right corner. There's no Kenner logo on the front of the packaging. But if you flip it around, that's where you'll get the Kenner logo and the proof of purchase and all that stuff. And then all of the uh, characters and other dinosaurs and whatnot. Yeah, so this is a standard American release card. And here we have a Japanese release of the Velociraptor. Unfortunately, I cannot find a Dilophosaurus as of yet, but you know, I'm working on that. But here we have a Velociraptor and you can see most of the card is the same, except at the top where you would see the dinosaur's name, you can actually see uh, Katakana. This part's in English, the card's all the same, but look at the bottom. We have the logo for Nomura Toys, which is weird because their logo is a TN, so it should be like Toy Nomura. Anywho, Nomura Toys is actually more known for their vintage tin toy robots and vehicles. Um, and typically these kinds of releases from Kenner and uh, other toy companies, you generally see those kinds of things imported by the big Japanese toy company Takara. So yeah, this is like the first instance that I've noticed where you see uh, Nomura toy is responsible for the Japanese release. And on the back of the card here, you can see it's pretty similar to the Dilophosaurus card, except at the top where you have the instructions, they're written in Japanese and all of your characters names are also written in Japanese along with the dinosaurs. And then the bottom where you would have had the Kenner copyright, you've got the Kenner copyright, a division of Tonka, and the Nomura toy logo. But yeah, there's the Velociraptor. I actually love the Velociraptor toy. It's one of my favorites, the very first one. Uh, so I have a bunch of variants. These are a couple variants that I have. I recently got this uh, Chaos version, which I love the colors on this one. But yeah, these were not released in Japan as far as I know. <laughs> Up uh, next we have the Pterodon. This is not one of my favorites, but it is very nostalgic to me. So yeah, gotta have this one. And just like the Raptor, you've got Pterodon written in Katakana. You got the Nomura Toy logo at the bottom. And the card back is the same as the Velociraptor, except for the description of the uh, Pteranodon is in Japanese, of course. And look, we've got a price tag too. It looks like this might have been Toys R Us. Yeah, Toys R Us price tag with uh, yen. Unfortunately, someone's ripped it off. So I don't know the original retail price, but um, yeah, Toys R Us actually still exists here. Although they're kind of lackluster these days. Okay, up next we get our human crew, starting with my personal favorite, Alan Grant. Same thing with his card, name written in Katakana. The rest of the card is virtually identical. Same goes with the figure and the Nomura toy logo in the corner there. And on the back, we get the same kind of card back that we get with the standard Kenner release, just with Japanese text and the other information at the bottom and no Kenner logo. Same goes with all the other characters, Ellie Sattler. Robert Muldoon. T. 
Tim Murphy. Or Timu Mafi. <laughs> Sorry, I should probably have read all of these out loud in Japanese. And last but not least, one of my second personal favorites, Dennis Nedry. Dennis Nedry. Complete with his dino damage arm, which is already falling out of the socket. Now they don't they don't show the dino damage action on the back of the box. I'm not sure if that was something that they showcased on the Kenner card back. I'll probably do some research while I'm editing. And let's not forget one of my favorite all-time toys, the young Tyrannosaurus Rex with removable dino damage. So yeah, I don't own the big Rex. It is a little out of my price range, but I actually prefer the young Tyrannosaurus Rex over the adult. I played with this so much. And it doesn't help that I loaned the big Rex to my cousin, Michael, who then proceeded to cut its head off with scissors. So yeah, got some trauma attached with that one. If anyone wants to send me a replacement, you know, this happened almost 30 years ago, but if anyone wants to send me a replacement, you know, drop me a DM on Instagram, at Tokyo Toy Bastard. So yeah, let's see. So the package here is essentially the same. It's got all the English text. Uh, same thing over here. Realistic dinosaur skin, limited edition collector's movie card. And we also have the Japanese text down here. And it says, Young Tyrannosaurus Rex. And over here, we've got the Nomura Tori logo and the official JP mark. On the side of the box, cool picture and the text again. Same thing on this side. And on the bottom of the box, And here's the back of the box. So there was another company based in Japan that produced original Jurassic Park toys and models, and that would be Tsukuda Hobby. And here we have one of their 160th scale Tyrannosaurus Rex models. It's a PVC display model. Comes in that same kind of cool sunset foliage background and awesome Japanese writing on one side, English on the other. And here's a look at the back. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Let's read the English, shall we? T-Rex, the most famous predator in the history of the world, is the classic bloodthirsty carnivore. Standing 18 feet tall with a head 5 feet long, T-Rex has huge and powerful jaws which can swallow a man whole. Hey, English is actually pretty good. And then we've got the copyright here, 1992, and the Sukuda Hobby logo and information. And I've also got the Dilophosaurus. Same kind of packaging. Very cool stuff. Nicknamed the Spitter, this four-foot kangaroo-like animal seems playful and friendly. They are spotted like an owl, but be careful. When they begin to hoot, that means they're aroused. Oh my. <laughs> and a brilliantly colored crest will fan out above their head. It's your last warning before they spit out a lethal spray of venom, a deadly toxin that can blind and paralyze victims from as far away as 20 feet. You better get 20 feet away and she's gonna spit in your face. And uh, I'll crack this open and let you guys see inside. Sukuda Hobby also released these 130th scale super detailed PVC model kits, which are basically just unpainted Sophobi. But let's take a look at the box first. So on the front here, we've got the awesome art, a picture of the painted figure once it's assembled. 
On the bottom, you can see a list of all the other figures they have here. On the side of the box, you got more text and whatnot with the Japanese Brachiosaur and Sukuna Habi logo. And on the back of the box, we've got a picture of the model painted, paint and cement not included, but at least here, the painting instructions are in English. For painting use, paint suitable for plastic model kits or specially made for vinyl. For painting use, paint suitable, f that just sounds weird. Now, I have not yet assembled this kit. Um, so let's dump it out, shall we? Okay, so it's still sealed up in the plastic and yeah, it's basically just hollow vinyl. If you ever dealt with vinyl kits or unassembled vinyl toys, this is what they look like. You've got like the flashing on the ends that need to be trimmed and then you warm them up and stick them together and all that jazz. And this is really cool because it's basically just a Sophobi Brachiosaur. So awesome. I definitely want to put this together, but not today. I'm actually filming this on my lunch break. Oh, his leg fell out. Well, yeah, now that I got this out, yeah, it so, feels so nice in the hand, you know? Got that soft vinyl feel to it. Super awesome. I really need to find the rest of these. And actually here are the instructions. It's got the instructions in English, which parts you need to cut off and all that jazz. So that's cool that they put that in English. Let me know below if you actually assembled one of these. Back in the box you go. But wait, there's more. Can you read what that says? The word would be... Oh, I don't want to say it. Why not? I don't like to say it. Have you ever said it? No, sir. Try it. I don't like to say it. Try it! Really? Seriously? We're not going to have this conversation unless you say it. It says, Jurassic Park. Can, will you say it? No, please, no. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Dun, 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 dun. And here we have the Sukuda Hobby PVC model Fully painted Velociraptor Raptor. Got the cool little gold Jurassic Park sticker there, the little seal. And uh, there's actually a little window that you can pop out. I've obviously not popped that out on purpose. On the side here, it says Blocky Lapta, Lapta, one tenth scale. And uh, on this side, you've got it in English and a nice vibrant pink. And then here we have the back. And then we have the back of the box, which unfortunately has been ripped a little bit, but that's fine. So Jurassic Park Velociraptor, we got a size comparison of the raptor next to a human, which is more like a Deinonychus, not like a raptor. The raptor is pound for pound the most vicious dinosaur that ever lived, as intelligent as chimpanzees. They hunt in packs and often kill just for the sport of it. They run at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and with a six inch retractable razor sharp claw at the end of each limb can kill a man in one swipe. Down here we've got the copyright information, the Sukuda Hobby logo, printed in Japan. And then we have the lineup of the painted PVC models. We've got Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, Velociraptor, Dilophosaurus, Gallimimus, the same lineup we get for all of these releases. However, they're all different sizes and all different sculpts, I think. And here she is. The PVC Velociraptor model, fully painted. And you know, this is the early 90s. 1992 as a matter of fact, before the movie even was released. So, you know, it's got some, uh, it's got some issues with the paint and it's also been in this box flopping around for a while, I assume. So, you know, I'm not gonna fault it, but you know, it's really cool to have a fully painted Jurassic Park figure that was produced in Japan that's really cool because you know you don't find these often if you look on the other side of the box you got his other legs and whatnot hanging out there and she also comes with a little stand which is in this bubble wrap i don't think you want to see it. it's just a black plastic disc do you, do you really want me to take that out i don't think so but yeah i would love to find at least at least the tyrannosaurus and dilophosaurus from the series i already have the brachiosaurus unpainted so i'm pretty much set on that so yeah 
yeah, what do you guys think about this? I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to like fix up the paint, but I know I should, probably shouldn't because, you know, preservation of history and whatnot. I don't know how many of these are still floating around. And I'm pretty sure these are pretty expensive on places like eBay and whatnot, so yeah. Back in the box you go. It also comes with this beautiful piece of paper. Ooh, which has more information of the lineup of their different lines. Oh man, look at that T-Rex box. I gotta find that. Oh, and they have these little guys too. And these, those are so cool. So cool. Ooh, and when we open it up, we've got even better pictures of some of these releases. Man, that T-Rex is so badass. I need to get it. All awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, and there's also a little piece of paper that shows you how to impale them on the stand. And that's all for the toys and models that I have so far that were released in Japan. However, these things wouldn't exist without the movie. And here I have an original widescreen version of Jurassic Park on Japanese VHS. It's essentially the same as the VHS cover that we got in the States. I know because I had it and I, I was one of the first people at the video store to buy that damn thing when it came out. However, this one is in an awesome clamshell case, which is the case for most of your Japanese VHS releases. And upon opening the case, we get the label, which says Jurassic Park and Katakana. And the same goes for the spine. I know VHS collecting is like a big thing now and prices on some VHSs can go kind of crazy, especially if they're sealed. Unfortunately, this one's not sealed, but it was awesome to find this at like a junk shop for like, I probably paid like a buck for it, 100 yen. But what have I told you? I also had a sealed copy. Yes. Now this is a re-release uh, that probably came out a few years later, but it's still got the plastic shrink wrap the little promotional stickers here, you can see that it was 2,580 yen, which was a good deal for a VHS tape at that time. And yeah, spine. And the back's a bit different. And here are the two spines compared side by side. They are both subtitled versions, so, you know. But I would kind of like to have the old dub. That would be kind of fun to watch this in Japanese. I do have the Japanese Blu-ray. That's not as interesting as these old VHS tapes. But you know what's more interesting than old VHS tapes? Old Japanese laser discs. Although you can't tell from the cover because it just looks like all English. But if you look at the side, it's all in Japanese. You flip it over to the back. Aha, there we have it. The cool Japanese logo. Then you've got all your different chapters. If you're not familiar with Laserdisc, this was basically the predecessor to DVD. They were like giant record sized discs. Now I kind of feel like I'm missing something, uh, but you know, I can always do a follow up once I find some more of those items that I'm missing. I'm still missing quite a few things and I'm sure I'll discover things that I didn't even know existed in the coming years. So um, I did want to end on one little modern thing that I picked up. This is one of the more recent things that I picked up and this was for my son and I thought it was interesting enough to show because I posted it on Instagram. And a lot of people asked me about it. So this is a modern junior novelization of Jurassic Park. And it's also got manga style illustrations inside to go along with the story. And here you have all of our characters kind of translated into modern anime manga style, which is kind of cool. And you can see here, this was published for the 30th anniversary. So yeah, even in Japan, they are releasing stuff for the 30th anniversary. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was kind of shot in a rush, so I hope it turned out okay. And if you'd like to see some more of Jurassic Park related content, I'd be happy to make some more. I'm actually planning to make, uh, I've actually got something in the works, so we'll see if that comes into fruition anytime soon. Hopefully before the 30th anniversary year is over. But yeah, let me know in the comments which of these items you'd like to own, which items you hope that I find next, and uh, if there's any other suggestions you have. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. I also encourage comments and questions below, so if there's anything you want to ask, or 
or talk about, let me know below. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, there's a link to my Patreon below. For as little as a dollar a week, you can help support me and get bonus content like exclusive videos, previews, photo updates, and first dibs on Japanese toy sales that I have fairly often. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, click the link below. Until next time.